Chapter 2, Fundamentals, Part 4. Loops. Loops are super useful. Instead of writing code over and over again, we can easily repeat it using loops. Using a while loop, you can repeat instructions while a condition is true, keep shaken while music on is true, stop if music on is false. Using a for loop, you can specify how many times we should shake it. Inside a for loop, you need three things. One, a loop counter variable that keeps track of how many times the loop iterates. You can use any name for this loop counter, but I is used often. I is assigned an initial counter number. In this case, start counting from zero, then put a semicolon. Two. Then comes the loop condition. Run the loop while i is smaller than 5. Once i hits 5, exit loop. Then comes another semicolon. 3. Update the loop counter. Plus plus means add 1. So add 1 to i after every loop. Let's trace this. You can place a loop within a loop and create a nested loop. Let's trace this in action. Note that the outer loop iterates after the inner loop is done. 